The importance of the kick drum. We'll give some tips and tricks here how you can work around the bass drums inside your track. Be very careful of over compressing the kick drum in the first place. A little can help accentuate the punchiness, but too much and it will disappear into the thinnest plaque. Don't waste time trying to fix up a bad kick drum. No amount of tickering with even the best compressors and equalizing is going to rescue it. Simply replace it. Most of the sound should be the actual sample you use or the drum computer you use for the kick drum. Once you got your great kick sound, sample it and use it again and again. Contrary to what you might think, your mix will not sound dated or if you use the same kick drum over and over again. What dates a track is what you put on top of it. There is no fats with kicks. It either works or it doesn't. Avoid also excessive EQing. If you're having to do that too much, then you're using the wrong kick drum. Just select another one. Start your mix always with the kick drum. Once you're happy with the sound, level it so that it hits about 2 minus 4 to minus 6 dB on your main stereo outputs to leave headroom for the rest of the elements in the mix to kick in later. Next, put the rest of the groove, like hi-hats, loops, snares, but always ensuring the kick drum is still mostly prominent. This is important because as you add more elements, it can disappear and you're not Next, put the rest of the groove, like hi-hats, loops, snares, but always ensuring the kick drum is still mostly prominent. This is really important because as you add more elements, it can disappear if you're not careful. Next, put the rest of the groove, like hi-hats, loops and snares, but always ensuring the kick drum is still mostly prominent. This is important because as you add more and more elements, it can disappear if you're not careful. Next, add to the kick drum the bass. I'm assuming you get your bass sounds, leads, strings and other parts of your track ready. Experiment with the level. You're aiming for a good marriage with the kick drum, so the bass should work with the kick without masking it. Next, add the bass. I'm assuming you get your bass sounds, leads and strings and other parts of your track ready. Experiment with the level you're aiming for a good marriage with the kick. The bass should work with the click without masking its click. Ironically, one of the best ways to test for the right level is to monitor at the moderate level. Now continue to add any rhythm parts such as sequence synths, guitars and your OB set in your track. So we're gonna check this in practice. I have four drums for you ready here. A trance kick, a low kick, a house kick, and a techno kick, which of course we use in the different kinds and genres of music. First of all, our trance kick will have a lot of attack and a lot of punchiness because that's what trance is all about, euphoria. Here we go as an example. I'm gonna put up the volume a little bit here. Here we go. Now a lower kick we use mostly more for like minimal and like more like chill out kind of uh, dance music, uh, DNB and everything. So there is a low kick and especially as you can see here on the left side, I put also in the frequencies uh, quite in the lows there. Less punchy, not too much attack, a really short snap as well there. Then we go over to the house kick. And house, like we discussed earlier in the house uh, elements tutorial, uh, this is a more uh, straightforward drum. It's much rounder and thicker as well as you can hear. And then we go over to the techno kick, which is of course like 
really straightforward. A lot of attack, a lot of release uh, on the compression as well. Uh, a strong limiter because uh, Techno, it's all about the short kind of uh, elements which will be added uh, around the kick drum. There you go, actually, just in short, in practice, the kind of bass drums you can use in your track, whether it's like techno, minimal, dubstep, or trance, and what we just explained on how you should use your kick drum in your track. The importance of the kick drum.